This video will show you how to test a differential relay using the automated test module. Click on this test menu and you will see there is a separate tab for differential, which is where the transformer, generator and motor differential windows are. Transformer differential is a complicated test as it involves the vector group and different CT ratio. There are many calculations which are implemented in a simplified manner. To do this, click on the window and you'll get an option like this. You'll see a line and on top of it, you need to enter the nameplate details of your transformer, such as MVA rating, the HV and the LV. For example, 400 kV, a bar 220 kV transformer, and 100 MVA. Based on the voltage and the MVA, I get the full load current. If you do 500 slash 1 amp CT, and 1000 slash 1 amp CT in the LV, you can choose the vector group, for example choose D, Y, N, 1, 1. The automated single phase pickup factor is assigned here. Make sure that the automatically computed single phase pickup factors match the specified relay that you're using. If it doesn't, it will need to be edited, maybe 1.5 depending on the relay firmware. In case you're using an interposing CT, you can enable it and enter the ratio or the multiplication factor here. You can also change the current direction by clicking on this arrow mark. In case there is a mismatch in the CT polarity, this flexibility is available in the numerical relays. To cope with that, there is this option here. Below the line are the IED settings, which is the area for the relays. Your differential pickup has to match with your relay. Your trip time is the operation time of the relay. Prefault the level and time and the off delay for when we're injecting high current. You need to create a time gap which is mentioned as the off delay. Off delay is a time value set in milliseconds. When the relay operates, the software will extend the fault current for the off delay time entered to simulate the time delay associated with the breaker opening before the outputs go to zero. This is used for relays that sense for breaker failure by detecting the presence of fault current after issuing a trip. Enter the opening time of the breaker associated with the transformer being protected. If the operating time is unknown, use the default time of 50 milliseconds. The through fault current is how much current you're trying to inject to simulate a through fault during the stability condition. The second harmonic current, the fault duration, is how long you're trying to persist the fault in case you need a connection for ICT, whether it's required or not. The tolerance level is your results column, so depending on the feedback and actual time, it will verify with the tolerance to check the result. If you're using the third or fifth harmonic, normally we use fifth harmonic for overfluxing that is VF duplication. You can select it here in the nth harmonic content and enter the value in line to your relay. This section, sloped through origin restraint, equation and your unrestrained pickup, is manufacturer specific, so we need to check with the manual and enter the value. However, MEGA has a 21 page application guide explaining what your line segment, characteristic method and your bias equation is for each relay. A table is then created. For example, for a GE Make SR745 relay, the characteristics method should be selected as line segment and a bias equation is the maximum current principle. Therefore, select line segment and bias equation as a maximum current principle. You'll get a list of the universal restraint current principles available with the manufacturers. Depending on the manufacturer, enter the value. After choosing this, fill in this table as per your relay settings, which is shown here. You have to enter the value given in these columns in red. This application guide provides you with the information on how the values are to be matched with your relay. For example, it shows you your characteristics method and your bias equation for SEL make relays as well as Siemens, ABB, Alstom or Schneider and for Micom relays. As such you'll be able to fill out this table in line with the relay you're testing. Put a tick mark here which shows you how to connect your test kit to the relay. Then put a tick mark here. The test starts. The first test is called a stability test. The current that's going to be injected in winding 1 and winding 2 with phase angle is shown here. 
When this test is run, there shouldn't be any feedback or tripping. If it does trip, this could be because the settings were incorrect. It isn't matching with the relay, or there is a problem with the connections. When everything is perfect, it will not trip, and it will confirm that the stability test has passed. Using this button, you'll be able to see the list of tests that will be carried out. The first one is the stabilization test, then the timing test, which will be carried out for single phase as well as three phase. This is where you will need to verify whether your single phase factor is matching with the relay. If it's not matching, use this blue button to go back to the main menu and adjust the individual settings for the delta and star side. After the timing test is finished, it moves to the pickup test, where it verifies the pickup for each and every phase and three phase for both the windings. Then go for the characteristics test, which is drawn based on the values that were selected in this tab based on this table. This will match with the relay, and by clicking at various points, you'll get the table filled. Press play and the relay will start injecting. It'll respond to the values that are injected into the test kit, and it will verify whether the relay is operating on this red line. This green line is the tolerance, and the red line is your relay characteristics. Next, it will do a second harmonic block test. For each winding, it injects the second harmonic and creates a differential current and verifies whether the relay is blocking or not. This is repeated for single phase and three phase for both windings. Finally, it will do the nth harmonic. Since we've selected fifth harmonic, the nth harmonic is applicable for fifth harmonic settings, which will be carried out in this test. The entire test will be carried out within 15 to 20 minutes.